Hey YouTube, Jethro here. So I was tagged by PJ Bridges to do a deal on knives and where it all started. And I really can't tell you exactly when it started. Uh, I've always been an outdoor person. And I think I got my first knife when I was like five or six years old. And it was something comparable to this. Just a little old cheap taiwan -y thing and I don't think it barely shaved bark off of a stick let alone cut but uh, you know I just my mom was really good about making sure I had a lot of things like that I mean I had my first BB guns when I was probably about five six years old and uh, got my first 22 rifle when I was eight and took my hunter safety course that year and went squirrel hunting with my dad and it's been a long, long journey, but I can tell you the first knives that uh, really got me into uh, quality knives are what I consider, you know, what I could afford. Uh, and some of the best knives I've ever owned, this is my everyday carry. Uh, Case Trapper, it's double bladed, nothing fancy about it. You'll shave a sleeping baby mouse without waking it, but... You know they're easy to sharpen and I just I like carbon steel blades uh, this knife right here is a charade it's an old uh, 171 UH is uh, in USA on the side of it uh, sharpening stone come with it now this knife's been around for many a many a year my dad used to work at Goodrich years ago and uh, one of the guys was hurting for some money and dad didn't have a whole lot either but he come in there and I think Dad said he'd give five dollars for that knife. That's been probably about 50, 55 years ago. And, you know, Dad just don't hunt. He's 77 years old now. He don't hunt and fish. and uh, As much hunting and fish as I did, once I became responsible enough that he knew I wasn't going to lose it, uh, he'd give this knife to me just a few years back. Just told me to make sure that I didn't leave it sitting on a shelf. I put it to use, and I have. Uh, some of the other things, uh, this Puma, which I bought it here about four or five years ago, and it's a German steel. Uh, they was regular, like almost 80 bucks, and I got it on discount or clearance at uh, Academy for, I'm thinking I give like $39 for it, and it's, it's a pretty nice knife. I mean, I keep all my knives just shaving sharp but this is one that I can use and I don't have to work on it real hard uh, it keeps its edge my knife addiction got so bad that I've built many a many a knife and most of them that was of quality I give away the rusty one there on top it happens to be one that I built it was all shiny oak handles and uh, I threw it in my tackle box and I used it and I'll probably buff it off and I'll keep on using it. Uh, here's a blank for a hunting knife that I've made. I had never finished it out. Uh, sometime in the future when I take a motion. This is one of the first knives I ever built uh, and I kind of halfway kept it clean. Uh, I just use them and I, th you know, some of them I throw them in boxes and here and there and they get rusted and I clean them up but that's turned out to be a handy little booger uh, I had made a sheath for it and I can't find it I'm going to have to make another one if I can't but uh, this is a knife I built a few years back and it has been through many an animal it's, it holds a good edge I mean it just my arms stay bare half the time I built this one a couple years back had a nice brass pummel on it and I let it get rusted up so I started taking it back apart so I can clean it up because really it's got a good feel to it and it, it does excellent jobs now I've got mega store bought cheap knives I mean I just got them out the wazoo I didn't feel like dragging everything out uh, one, one of my favorites which I had a guy that done an airplane service in Alaska and of course they got these little trinkets there and I'm going to rebuild the handle on this, but it's called a Ulu, and a lot of you probably already know that, but 
I wanted one with a ivory or bone handle or something like that, and he just come up with this one and give it to me instead of charging me for it. Uh, that thing is sharp. I mean, I've done a lot of stuff with it, and I always kept it cleaned up just because I like displaying it, but uh, they are super, super sharp knives. Just, just one-sided edged, back side flat, front side, it's... <laughs> It just it, it's a nice knife and you don't have to hardly touch it to anything I got many sharpening stones I've got sharpening wheels like Bass Pro Shop or something if you've seen them run across the uh, cardboard wheels that's got grit on them and polishing wheel uh, it's just something I do when I have time so I would say my favorite knife of all time is just my good old case uh, goes through a lot of stuff I carry it with me all the time and anytime I'm out in the woods actually hunting this one will be strapped to my side. Uh, just, you know, it's got a lot of memory to it, just knowing my dad had it. Uh, he didn't use it a whole lot. It really kind of stayed in the drawer. Yeah, I remember him breaking it out a couple times when we was hunting, and, uh, you know, I've used it a lot. I do mean a lot in the past five years. So, anyhow, PJ tagged me. I watched a uh, Rivet Gardener do his video and I was almost ashamed I didn't want to do mine he's got better stories and uh, chance was 36 on his video I, you know I take it back that was probably one of the first sheath knives I ever had was like the one he showed and it's about the time Rambo was on and they come out with those knives mass produced but they was one of the neatest things you could use them abuse them and they just kept on taking a beating and I do remember putting that on my hip and going fishing and having that big old thing strapped to me, but that bring, that brought back a memory chance. Thanks. Uh, so, anyhow, I, I didn't see 1952 Jeep do one of these. Uh, he, he's gone over a lot of stuff, and I re-looked back to videos because I'd seen a lot of people do something on their first knife, uh, just not him. And uh, Arkansas Prepper, uh, two really great guys, and you know I like to comment on them a lot. They got some good stuff. So if you guys are listening, show us your favorite knife, your first knife, or where it all started. Here's Jethro out.